welcome back. Hello and welcome back. Hello! <laughs> Anyways, um, welcome back to another episode on the channel. If you haven't caught up by now, we're on episode five, which is super ridiculous and wild. And I understand that this build is taking a hot minute, but that's just how builds go. We are headed to Powder Solutions right now. All the components for my engine are back there with my powder coat. So now that I got the powder coat sorted out, which you saw in the last episode, uh, it's time to get the color onto the parts so we can start bolting parts back on to the engine block. All right, so I'm here, Powder Solutions. We're dropping off my engine block engine parts and it's going to be that pink color that you saw in the last video so without further ado let's get into it so then all of these are the colors this is the prismatic like their actual spray um swatch that they made and then this is the paint and then this one's the spray bomb so it's relatively close we know it's going to not be 100 percent perfect but we're getting as close as we can get without you know, and having a little bit of contrast is okay. Everything's in these boxes. Um, obviously, engine blocks in this one, other parts in this one. They've been marked to show where needs powder and where's to leave blank. We're trying to go for as perfect as possible without expecting perfection. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. So, so you'll sandblast it first, get exactly. rid of the existing mm -hmm. uh, color on it, yep. and then go into So after. what we want is basically when you sandblast the piece, it uniforms everything as far as like a base. Okay. Once you uniform everything, then you can start shooting and it looks a lot more uniform. So this is your, where you do all your coating and then yeah. this is your oven. This is the whole area where the powder's at. Then we got the gun and uh, it goes onto the rack. It gets the electricity, gets grounded and then the powder goes onto it. And then afterwards it gets baked in this giant oven. Um, which is super crazy. So I know that what you're gonna think, the engine block is gonna get distorted because of it, the heat of the, the oven, but rest assured it's getting machined after and so it can get powder coated. So cool. And then once it's baked, it pops. Whoa, we feel the heat. When you're cold in California. This is the spot. This is the spot. <laughs> So prior to everything getting powder coated, uh, it's going to get sandblasted to make sure that the prep and, you know, the finish, you know, come out as best as they can. So we're going to show you a little bit of sandblasting this guy right here um, because it's a quick one that doesn't need too much for, you know, taping off and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's check it out. a quick little shot of it cleaning up the wells yeah in different lights it always looks slightly different so we're gonna take a peek at the powder and go from there but yeah it's always so hard Ooh, it's so strange that it comes in a bag like this <laughs> like yeah 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 so this is how much is that 25 pounds this is 30 so i went you said 25 and i was like oh, let's get an extra five just in case yeah the frame's gonna take up the majority clear is supposed to have a little bit of black in it really? like the paint store guy said he was like oh you just need a little bit of black in it so that's what they kind of tried and it ended up working out in that way so what is it clear vision or is it a different one um it's i mean they this oh, this vision, yeah, yeah. so this swatch is like that color but with this over top of it white powder clear vision several days later you guys already know the drill we're here picking up from biomag plating my engine parts that i dropped off you guys saw that i dropped some stuff off you probably already saw that a few parts and components that got plated there's lots more that's getting plated but let's go check out what's going on because this is the first time i've seen them in person Just take a look at a few of the things. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Cool. Let me get your box out. Okay. I'm excited. I know. Should I come with you that way? Yeah. Okay. All the magic goes on here. Like they like that. check everything. Okay. They make sure everything's perfect. Everything is up to quality. It's so crazy. We're excited. We're excited. Hi. How are you? Yeah, are you? Good. Everybody comes out and is moving the things. I know that they blocked me. You guys. The whole team's here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, really? you got it, right? Yeah, they're in there. there. Ah, so excited. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, cool. All right everything's wrapped up, so okay. I don't want to like unwrap it. It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm like so excited. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, the truck's going to shine. Oh, my God. This is like, like my heart's just pounding. So exciting. So exciting. So exciting. See my reflection in there. Ooh, ooh. I'm like all distorted like a fun house. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, now she's got, now you took it out. Now you got my now you got her. I need to know. I forgot to open it. This is the one I saw in the video. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ooh. Tito has sent it to you, right? Oh my god. Oh, wow. So beautiful. So my turbo is gonna sit on this. And for the truck and it goes fast, fast. It looks so nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is why I tell people you need to go to the gym because if you're going to build a vehicle, you need to be able to carry your own parts. You know? If you can't carry it, you can't have it. That's what my mom used to say at the pumpkin patch. Meanwhile, we have other Toyota parts back here. Sneak peek. My dash is back here. Ta-da! Successful day at the chrome shop. I'm hyped. The Omegs out here are already killing the Toyota game right here. This Toyota here is ready to show me up. Good luck to me. We're back at Powder Solutions. Um, I mean, you guys were just here with me, right? Of course you were. So what are we doing today? I have never powder coated anything, but I am trying to be a part of as many parts of this build as I can. So today I'm gonna learn a little bit about powder coating, try and do some of my own parts, and then let these guys do what they do best and make the magic happen. So without further ado, you guys saw the color. Let's go put some pink on these parts. my oil pan if you remember it from the other ones and then we have sandblasted parts up in here but they have to get taped off and then we're gonna shoot some color so yeah freshly sandblasted <laughs> legit, freshly sandblasted. legit. <laughs> before anybody comes at me in the comments about uh wants to mansplain powder coating to me, don't want to hear it. <laughs> just just want to let you know that. Because <laughs> probably read your comment a thousand times before. And you know what, bro? It's OK. Don't worry. It's fine. I'll put my hair back later on. So it won't get in anything. You just build a sheet sort of like over all the, and then cut it. Kind yeah. Of? Is that yeah. So like what some happens? of them, I'm looking for lines in case this one has any of those lines where he kind of yeah. gave us that edge. Build a sheet and then start cutting that. Right. So we'll just build a whole. Peter thing. marked out uh, quite a few of the parts. He put little X's on where it needs to be masked off for sure. And then some of them have lines on them depending on what the edge is, I guess, for whatever gasket's going on or what whatnot. So yeah, that's a uh, while we're taping off a lot of stuff. I have never seen tape like this. Oh, really? Yeah. And it just is these little squares, rectangles. I promise I know my shapes. Did I just ruin your whole day? Huh? Did I just ruin your whole day? No, Marky. <laughs> you gotta put up with me now. Could be worse, I guess. Right. I feel like I'm doing arts and crafts right now. Oh, I fucked this one up. I might just retape this. 
It's easy. First redo. Redo number one. I feel like they all look like they're going to be easy to cut out and then you start cutting it and it doesn't want to do what you want it to do. So that's, that's wonderful for my abilities. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> hacking away, trying to make this work. This is kind of what. Okay, stop. We kind of want. Stop. I'm like trying to get all the edges, and I can't get the edges. <laughs> and I'm using the reject knife. <laughs> what? This one feels like a reject, bro. I'll put a new blade. There's new blades. There you go. Here. Look at this little mini truck with the wire wheels outside. Mini trucks in the wild. Good luck to me. See now it does it better. Oh yeah, that's the hard one. The gas. Good thing you're doing that. <laughs> oh hey, George. <laughs> so yeah, the this is going to be seen in between here, but these are need to be covered. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, I did it really good that time. Did you see that one? It's like peeling potatoes for dinner. Yeah, should we tape it? No, let's do it. Okay. I'm just gonna get that workout in. Get up quick. <laughs> gotta, gotta get my workout in. I'm trying to live forever around here. Except when it comes to safety. <laughs> That's the clear. So the clear, so basically what Prismatic did was this is uh, like a color that could be shot just as a color but the clear itself is what's going to bring out and change the depth of the color. It has a little bit of like a black tone into it to alter the tone. So it matched the samples that we had better. Um, so yeah, first the color gets laid down and then it's kind of a similar stage to paint where it gets clear. So where things go wrong is generally in the clear. So I'm probably not going to do that myself, uh, but we're going to do what we can today. Break you it. have to break it up? Yeah. Really? That's cool. Yeah, because there's elements to these paints. Kind of like, like it like mixes it? Yeah. It. So you want it to kind of blend all the stuff that's in there, the different particles. Good example, like right here, feel this? Yeah. Now feel this one and we just broke up. Oh, it's a lot softer. Yeah, it becomes almost like liquid. Yeah. I feel like an Italian grandmother rolling some dough right now, like feeding it on the counter, but like... Oh yeah, we make pizzas at We're home. making pizzas? <laughs> all about that. If you work at Pizza Hut right now, I'm coming for your job. You're gonna shoot this. I'm gonna shoot that. <laughs> for the first time, there's going to be parts on my truck that are pink. I'm really excited. <laughs> How long did it take to bring me? Oh, about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Not long at all. It's got a preheat, little part action. Then it uh, gets hung up in here, a little ground to it because it's all done through electricity, unlike paint. It looks like paint, but it's not. It's done through electricity, kind of like chrome that we saw with chrome. So, yeah. Just got to preheat baking some cookies today. Maybe a pie. I'm hungry. All right, he's coming out of here, out of the preheat. That was super cool. We got color. <laughs> One thing that I noticed that you did right was you didn't stop. A lot of painters want to swipe and stop. 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 So you just keep the motion going. Keep it going. So the oven's at 400 degrees. This part now is going to go in for about 10 minutes and then it'll come out. This is my oil pan. So practice round goes on the oil pan because we want to make sure that I'm not going to mess things up too bad. Um, but also nobody's going to see the oil pan because the truck's going to be on the ground. So yeah, there it goes. Most people would not be getting this excited about an oil pan right now, but to me, this is a moment. <laughs> you can feel the heat coming off of it. It's crazy. 
It looks good. It's cooling down. 200 degrees. I'm waiting on it to cool down now. It has to be back to about 100 degrees before we can put the clear on it. And Edgar was telling me that basically when the clear goes on, it looks white. Uh, so then you can you can see that it's covering the whole thing and then it gets baked again and that's when the color really pops and comes through. So yeah, we so can clear it now. Prep will always make something better and then the clear will make something. Color, you can kind of fudge. Well, that's where I come in and do the handiwork. But uh, yeah, <laughs> clear time. Let's hope that it uh, turns out to be the correct color. Alright, so I believe 75, what's, what's the reason you typically 75 on here? Yeah. Okay. Count down 10 minutes. 10 minutes after it reaches 375. What's it at right now? 324. Just right now, he's making sure that, like, you know, it always it's either it works or it doesn't, and so. Well, initial initial shots are easy. Yeah. Secondary shots. To match the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I saw when it was going in, it looked good. Everything was good for. So warm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I think it's right. I don't know. I'm trying to. <laughs> it looks so nice. Oh. Look at it, it's like steaming. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but it's, uh, it's so hot. Hell yeah. That looks pretty spot on, if you ask me. I think this is perfect. I'm going to grab the chip and we're going to hold it up and make sure before we run it for the other parts, but uh, I think today is a win. It's the moment of truth. Looks pretty spot on if you ask me. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much it changes when you turn it. When you turn it, just like in a little bit, like it changes so much, but it's spot on for what it's supposed to be. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! The first pink part for my truck, and now all the rest of them. <laughs> Stay tuned. This is the best part about powder instead of paint. You can kind of blow yourself off. <laughs> Hell yeah! So pass this light, then use the left lane. I'm going past this. I'm going past this light and then I'm using the next lane to drive. So you guys all saw last week, we did some powder coat, the engine parts. We are back at Powder Solutions because we are picking up all my engine parts. Yay! And finally, gonna get the block so we can get some parts on it and get things going. So let's go get some parts. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Look at them! Oh my gosh, indeed. I mean, this one's the most important, but like, wow. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Stamp them here. I mean, it looks like... It's like glass. It's okay, like so glass. This is the chip that you all saw before. <laughs> Perfectly matching. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for now. It's so beautiful. I cannot wait. I no cannot way, wait. No, right? This is like. Oh, what am I? He even got it like exactly how it's supposed to be. Yeah, man, right there. You killed it, bro. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Wow, wow. I like the pulley. The pulley? That's like the best part for I like, you? I love, I love the pulley. I like the block. But the pulley's like so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no, Damn. that's fine. Mm, I'm down block. Oh, it's it all so like great. It's glass, like it, it just looks perfect, honestly. They love the block. Just feel on me. 
Just feel on it? Just yeah. give it a little rub? Just give it a little rub. <sighs> yeah, it's super nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to actually see like everything come together where it yeah. has the chrome on it and it has like all the different components on it. So then it just is all just going to be popping. <sighs> I'm so excited. This is now getting real. It's getting real. So yeah, it's going, this is going to the engine shop on Saturday and they're going to um, get it machined. And so then we can get everything starting to go back together. Okay, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Cool. That was fast and efficient. All right, everything's loaded up. We are going to be taking all the engine parts to the machine shop now, but uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you catch the next episode. Like, subscribe, follow, all the stuff. All the links are down below. You know where to find them, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.